Hello everybody, welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the 2D player controller. So, let's begin. Player controllers take a big part in game development. Some programmers even take months to perfect their player. In our case, we're going to be creating a player that can move around using the WASD keys. So, let's begin. So I have this pretty simple scene here. I have a blob that is the player and we're going to be creating a script so that we can control this player. So I'll start off by creating a new script called player movement. Now I want to assign a public float variable named speed because this is the speed that we're going to move our player with. So in my case, I'm going to change this value in the inspector. So we need to call an update function and in that update function, we want to assign an if statement. In this if statement, we are going to be assigning the keys. So we want to detect input from the user. So in our case, it's going to be input.getKey in parentheses w so this will recognize the w key then we want to call the transform.translate function so that we can translate our player in our case it's going to be vector 3 up because we are pressing the w key if we are pressing the s key we're going to be vector 3 down then we want to multiply this value by speed times delta time so when you multiply by speed we're going to get the speed that we assigned and if we multiply by time dot delta time the frames in every single device are going to be the same so that means that there's not going to be any latency depending on the device after this i want to copy and paste this three times because i have four keys in this case we are going to be copy and pasting for s a and d so we are going to be changing those values and we are also going to be changing the position of the vector 3. So instead of up, it's going to be depending on the position of the key. So if it's A, it's going to be left. If it's S, it's going to be down. And if it's D, it's going to be right. So save the script and then go back to Unity. Now click play and then assign a value for speed. In my case, I'm going to assign the value of 10. Once I've assigned this value, you can see that now we can move a little blob. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and comment down below what would you like to do next. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we are going to be uploading a lot of content related to Unity programming. So anyways guys, goodbye.